welcome to Forbidden Planet Television and welcome to FPTV. Were new releases where we're talking about an upcoming release published by our colleagues at Titan Books, and that's Grady Hendrix's new release, The Final Girl Support Group. Welcome, Grady. How are you, mate? I'm 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 alive, right? Isn't that isn't yeah. that what's important in a horror movie? Isn't that everything? Yeah. So what <laughs> what can you so true, mate? What can you tell us about Final Girl Support Group? So Final Girl Support Group is a book I've been living with since 2013. I mean, it's um, I, I just came up with this title and I really wanted to write a book about what happens to these final girls after the end of the movie. You know, um, these women who've survived these, these killers. What's next? Because that's what I'm always fascinated about. Like, how do you live the rest of your life when you saw everyone you know die as a kid? And so it's about these women who have a support group and they've gotten to a point where they... Um, they've moved on, but some of them haven't. Some of them become addicts, some of them become paranoid, some of them are in denial, and they're all dealing in their different ways, and someone starts to kill them one by one. And, um, and someone pointed out to me, oh God, it's like Watchmen for horror movies, and it will, I will never write anything as good as Watchmen, but yeah, it's, I was kind of like, oh crap. <laughs> <laughs> I wrote Watchmen for Final Girls. I really wanted to write that book back in 2013 before there was this big Final Girls craze in pop culture. Because And, and then when that craze started, and I actually did a draft of it back then, and that craze started and no one was interested in the book. And I had this finished manuscript I was shopping around that was getting rejected by everyone because they're like, oh, there's a Final Girls TV show. There's a Final Girls book. And two things really stuck in my craw. And one was, um, A, a lot of those treated it like a joke. And I really wanted to take it seriously because I always thought like, what's that like when everyone you know, all your friends, you lose them. They're killed yeah. in front of you when you're 16 or 17 years old. And then you live with that for the rest of your life. The yeah. biggest thing that's ever gonna happen to you has happened. And you've got to live with what's with the aftermath. And, um, and I really also, um, felt like and there was a, I really got angry at this idea that there can be one final girls book. I was like, but but the last time I checked, there were like two vampire books at least. Um, I, I think someone's written more than one book about a haunted house. I'm like, is it just because they're women? Like we only yeah. get one? Like it is a trope in pop culture and in horror. It's a huge place of the genre and and we're not gonna give it very much room because it's about women. What, what's the objection? Um, and, you know, the book wound up, I mean, it's about a support group for final girls, and it's 20 years after they went through their experiences, and they're all kind of questioning why they're still doing this. Why is this still with them? Shouldn't they just move on? And then someone starts to kill them one by one, and of course, only the most paranoid member of the group believes that it's a conspiracy. And, um, and I really wanted to write a book about horror, because it's been a part of my life, all my life. I mean, since I was a little kid, I've been watching horror movies, and I just wanted to be like, what's that mean? Like, I've spent a large part of my life watching people get killed. And wh what? Like, <laughs> if someone said that to me, like, you know, recreationally, since I was eight years old, I've been watching people get killed. I would be really worried for their mental health, but that's not horror. Horror is not about that. And so I really wanted, the same way that um, Carol Clover really examined the genre when she wrote Men, Women, and Chainsaws, where she coined the term final girls, I wanted to use fiction to sort of be like, what's really going on here? What are we watching when we watch a horror movie? Because we're not just watching people get killed. We're watching something different. And I think what we're watching is we're watching a story about survival. Yes, uh, I think that's very well said. And I think that's a, a, fan, a fascinating way to look into it. And of course, that's some, that is something that we can all you know, really respond to, you know, because that, that primal fear of, of staying alive and surviving that's what actually drags you through uh, sometimes quite ridiculous circumstances with a horror movie or horror book. Right. Uh, but I think you found the emotional truth of it. There. I think that's fascinating. And, and yeah. when will Final Girl Support Group be coming out? It's coming out, I believe, in the States and the UK in summer of 2021. Um, I think they've said July, but I, I, I wouldn't swear to that in court. But I know it's summer 2021. Well, thanks for sharing those details with us, mate. I absolutely can't wait to read that book. No, I can't wait for people to read it either because I'm just, this book's been with me since 2013. This is it. I've lived with this book for seven years. I'm so ready to have it out in the world. Yeah, right on. Fantastic. Me too. I can't wait. And um, finally, mate, there's, there's, a, there's a question we've been asking everybody in this strand. It's actually my colleague, Laura Dodd, has been, has been asking this question, which is quite straight, quite simply and straightforwardly. 
what scares you personally the most? What scares you? Well, you know, there's two parts to this question. What scares me is being broke. I mean, yeah, I'll, I'll tell you, I know that's not very glamorous, but there is no kind of fear like you suddenly realize the bills are due and you got nothing. Yeah. You got your credit cards are maxed and you're out. And and I've been there and that's, that is terrifying. But the other thing that scares me a lot is, um, and, and it's helplessness. Uh, and I know that sounds a little abstract, but there's this idea in movies like, I don't know if you ever saw this movie, uh, Martyrs from 2008, the French film. Oh, or I um, haven't seen it. No. It's, I mean, it's amazing. It. Uh, not the American remake, the original one or even the ring or anything like this, or even that thing where something's happening and you can't stop it. It's gonna happen to you. Someone is gonna impose their will on you and you can't stop them. And it's something you see a lot in, um, in slasher movies, which I've been thinking about a lot, writing Final Girls. And you get to this idea of, okay, so that's why I like slasher movies is this counter narrative about survival because they're really like, okay, you're gonna lose people. You're gonna lose parts of yourself. You are gonna lose your looks. You are gonna lose maybe even your sanity, but you will live. And that's, that's this thing of like, you know, this fighting against this helplessness of being a victim, um, I think is so powerful because that's ultimately for me, what it boils down to is having someone else impose their will on you and you can't do anything about it. And I feel like slasher movies are saying, you can go out the third story window, get on the roof, you know, get that tiny ice pick and fight back, you know, do yeah. something because you can't give up. Well said. I think that particularly in the world in which we find ourselves now <laughs> oh, is, is, a, is, a, is actually a fantastic answer. Oh, thanks. Yeah, I, I'm trying to avoid the world we live in now. This tiny <laughs> well, yeah. office is my refuge. You, you and me both. <laughs> I think that's a very healthy thing to do. Um, thank you so much for joining us today, Greg. Yeah. It's, it's been great chatting to you. This has been FPTV New Releases, and you have been watching Grady Hendrix talking about his epic book, The Final Girl Support Group. Thanks very much for spending some time with us, mate. No, thanks for having me, man. Yeah, great to see you. Take care. You too. If you're enjoying watching Forbidden Planet TV and you're enjoying watching us talk to the world's most interesting and accomplished filmmakers, authors, artists, musicians, creators, subscribe right here. See you soon.